Hi, welcome along to the second of our index laws videos. This one looking at uh, law number two. Uh, what we do with indices when we're actually dividing. So how could I possibly go about simplifying 9 to the power 5 divided by 9 to the power 3? Well, if we write it in this form with 9 to the power 5 as part of our numerator and 9 to the power 3 as our denominator and we expand them out, you can see that we can actually start cancelling. Because there's only three nines on the bottom, I can only cancel three of the nines on the top, and that leaves me nine squared on the, as part of my numerator. So pressing on and looking at this one, simplifying 11 to the power 7, I'd put that as my numerator, and 11 to the power 2 as my denominator. And you might see again that we can cut these out. And that gives me 11 to the power 5. Now, at this point, you might start seeing a pattern. So let's investigate that. If we've got 9 to the power 3, 5, and we've got 9 to the power 3, and we subtract 5 from 3, we'll get 2. Similarly, 11 to the power 7 and 11 to the power 2, if we subtract those, we'll get 11 to the power 5. So this gives us a bit of a hint about what our second index law might be. OK, let's flick over to the next uh, slide and see what these are. Once again, you might like to pause the uh, video at this point and see if you can work them out. OK, 2 to the power 6 divided 2 to the power 4. Again, the bases are the same, and this is important and should be highlighted. The bases must be the same to apply that index law. That should give us 2 to the power 2, subtracting the 4 away from the 6. In the second one, x to the power 5 divided by x squared should give us x cubed. And 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 7 will give us 3 to the power negative 2. Notice in this instance, we've got 3 to the power 5 taking 7, 3 to the negative 2. Okay, pressing on. In general, when dividing terms with the same base, you can subtract those powers. So if we've got a to the power 5 and we're divided by a to the power n, that will give us a to the power m minus n. You might want to copy this and the example into your notebook. And we'll keep this one for the next slide. 